A thief stole checkbooks from a local couple's home that proceeded to wipe out their bank accounts in no time, but getting that stolen money back took a lot longer. The family went round and round with the bank, and when they could not get anywhere, they decided to get Marty. This is what Thomas Sargentson calls the walkthrough. It's where thieves walked right through his home and stole his checks. So this woman came in here, went into your little drawer here in your bedroom and stole these checks? Yep. The suspect, Michelle Caffarelli, she and two others facing multiple felony charges, including theft, forgery, and conspiracy, in court today facing those charges. Thomas's son, Joe, he's here too, wants justice. Getting her corralled, so she needs to stop terrorizing, terrorizing my parents and stop using our house for her bank. According to police, Caffarelli knew the family, stole three checkbooks, forged and cashed nearly $20,000 in bad checks. If you have elderly parents, to help them secure their checkbooks, secure their personal information, whether it's to get them a safe or keep it off-site so that when these things happen, it minimizes uh, their risk. I was state champ. Thomas is a prideful man, loved his cross country days. State champ loves his family. The retired steelworker angered by the theft of more than $20,000 of his retirement savings. Is it upsetting? Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd get the money back? No. <laughs> What are you going to do? What his son Joe did was send us this email. My 86 year old father has a problem with Huntington Bank that we cannot resolve. They refuse reimbursement, saying that the checks were not properly secured. My father is out $12,800. Please help me. I'm at my wits' end. You're trying to work with the banks, and the banks aren't cooperating. A lot of anger and frustration. In fact, a letter from Huntington Bank states, regarding your forgery claim, amount of claim, $12,800, it has been determined that reasonable care was not used in securing your financial documents. Case closed. Nothing, just stonewalled. We reached out to Huntington. The bank responded to our request for help immediately, saying, we are always glad to work with reporters regarding consumer issues. And then this email a day later. New information has been received on the alleged criminal activity involving the checks. And because the loss of funds was reported to the bank within the 30 days after receiving the bank statement, as stipulated in the deposit agreement, Huntington Bank will reimburse the funds lost and make the customer whole. I get a text message from Marty saying the bank's going to resolve the issue. And the next day, the bank called me and said that the issue's resolved, the money's going in your dad's account. And it was that simple once Marty got involved. It was unbelievable. I thanked Huntington. They responded, we have a great bank. Thank you. Sarge's son put a safe in his bedroom now. He keeps his checks there. Now I got a safe. So. <laughs> He's such a good guy, but he did have a difficult time with that safe. So there are a few issues here. You really need to make certain your checkbooks are secure. You might think that's an obvious thing, but remember, the bank initially denied Sarge's refund because they were convinced the checks we're not secure. Also, make certain that the loved ones in your life are aware of their finances, how much they have. If they aren't, you've got to take care and take control of their money before you, you learn it too late, guys. It's obviously a good idea, but necessarily, how do you do that with the family members? Well, I mean, you know, I, I guess the safe's a decent idea, but he had a really hard time opening yeah. it, as I probably would. You know, if it comes down to and they really don't know what they're doing with their money, in, per se, you've got to get power of attorney. I mean, honestly, rather than just saying, look, I'm not disparaging the family, no, they're trying. No. You, you've got to take power of attorney and you've got to take care of their finances because Sarge truly did not know how much he lost. His son's the one that really took charge here and got the money back. And it's not necessarily that difficult to get that power of attorney. You go to an attorney who draws up a, a, a paper, they go to the judge, a judge decides yes or no on it, on, on the circumstances, and then... It's done. Heck, I did it at the bank with my mother after my father passed because she wanted me to be able to help if, if things got rough. So it, it's pretty simple, and, and it's just a decision that the family has to make. Yeah. All right, Marty, thanks so much. Sure. And if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to getmarty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244 and visit kdka.com slash getmarty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.